Alright, I'm in. Hey, YouTubes. It's me, Grimwit. Hi. How you doing? Look, um, I keep saying I'm done with this map. I keep saying it. And I'm always proven wrong. So, I asked for brains. And I got brains. And, uh... B bigger brains than me have been putting this together. So, I'm gonna call out, as a thank you, to Alephos, um, William E, the Silver Rose. I know I'm forgetting someone. Put in comments if you're mad at me for forgetting you. Shit, I really wish I could remember. Anyway, um, I wanted to get this done because it's fresh in my mind. And I gotta get this out of my system so I can stop thinking about it. The chess puzzle has been completed. What we didn't know was that was the first layer of tr of puzzles. Well, it's it's hide and seek now, and people went around uh, shooting everything, lights, babies. We'll get to that. And discovering secrets. I I haven't figured out the laser face secret. You missed a lot. But I have at least figured out something about the womb room. We'll get to that too. And, I, yeah. Let me show off what we got. Um, so, after the chess puzzle is open, and you get to see inside of another bout of insanity, and I've tried to read this, the, uh, the gist is, ooh, a rib. Uh, there is some multi uh, multi-verse splitting going on here, which we kind of gathered from, like, other hints. There's also some questions of identity, of what happens, of the person who was left here. And, uh, I, I believe I showed off the drop. Um, we figured out what's down there. Somebody figured out what it's down there. I think that was Alephos, actually, who first discovered how to get down there. And that's the crypt, and we'll get there. Because I'm going to give you a tour. Again, I, I'm still giving tours of this place. I'm still playing this map. I'm on, like, hour 20 of one map? What's wrong with me? Hey, you want to shoot stuff? I want to shoot stuff. Let's go upstairs. So... All right. We're still kind of at a standstill. We can't tell if we've discovered everything or not. That's the other thing, right? Is how much of this is still hidden. There's a lot more secrets than I had planned to, to find. When I, when I find one of these maps, huh, that light is sparking. Well, better shoot it. Note the glass breaking noise. That noise doesn't happen when I shoot other lights. Just that special light. So that's the first light that we're going to be shooting. Those lights are important. I'll explain. Um. I talked to my friend Carl. And Carl is hard to impress because he believes he's seen everything. Which I count as kind of a, a sort of ego thing. Because it means that Carl um, kind of holds himself as somebody who's like, okay, I can't be surprised anymore. And I, I feel like I've lived long enough to know that the more I find out, the more there is to know. That no single human can, can be surprised. This map surprises me. I thought I knew maps. This map's involved. Remember this? This is the spike room. We're going to be waiting here for a while. Not now. Later. You're going to have to wait to wait. But please note that there's no lightning shooting out of the top of that spike. That's kind of important to know. Um... No, no, not here. Yeah. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just... Actually, do mind me. I guess... I guess. I just keep forgetting where stuff is. So we need to go down to the well. That's the next part. 
And uh, in order to get down there, we're gonna have to go to this altar. If somebody knows how to get the laser face in this altar and can explain it to me, because I've been throwing babies into lava trying to get this. Remember the glitch baby? That's gonna come back. More importantly though, you can hear a sparking noise, right? That's a, this light right here. I don't like this light. It's broken. It keeps shooting out sparks. <laughs> Gotta shoot that one. I don't have a name for this room. I've been naming rooms left and right just so I can keep them straight in my mind. Yeah. Over here in the rock tunnels, that one's e an easy descriptor. There's another sparking light right here. That's the third light. We've done three. There are four. Um, the fourth one, I think, is the trickiest to catch. Because it's amongst friends of many, many lights. Right? So let's go ahead and get moving on that. Oh yeah. Teleport's the way to go for me. So if you go into the upper tangle, take the second right, and look up and slightly to the left. Oh, there's a, there's a sparking light right there. There we go. And I heard the glass break, so we're good to go. What did that do? Well, the answer may surprise you. <laughs> All right, all right, so... Um, there are no clues for any of this. I don't know how... I don't know how people figured this out. I really would like to know. This next bit, though, is like, kind, kind of, well, hang, hang on, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we got lightning here. What do we do with that? Hey, you remember that baby from the uh, chess puzzle? Let's throw another baby in. But Grimwood, I hear you say. You magnificent bastard. There are no more babies. You threw the only one away as a sacrifice to get the pawn. And normally I would agree with you. Except that room that the um, the baby was first found in? Yeah, we, we've named this Womb Room. Because babies fall out of the ceiling now. Like, if I... Th this isn't guaranteed to stay here either. It's just... Will, it will disappear if I take too long, right? So I've got to get this upstairs quickly. Um, there's something of a rush, is what I'm saying. Uh, let's try going up here. I don't know how long I have. I believe it's five minutes, maybe less. It takes about two minutes for these things to spawn. Three, two or three minutes from when it disappears. Oh, crap. Um... We're going to be waiting for a little bit, because I refuse to edit. All right. This music is no longer appropriate. So, uh... There we go. Feel free to fast forward. I won't tell you when. Just go in 10 seconds at a time. Should be about two minutes. So hit the L key about, I don't know, 10 times? That should be enough, probably. This is why it's called the womb room. Every two to three minutes, it pops out a baby. Actually, I think it's three minutes? Might be three minutes. Hey, you think? You think YouTube has its own edit function? I should look into that. I got my morning coffee. Me and uh, me and my friends, whenever I streamed this, while waiting, we would talk about just about everything. And um, I've run out of subjects through them. Because some of it was like politically charged, because that's just how we roll. Uh, we like to argue and yell at each other. It's different from Twitter because I know these people, and since I have to see them again, it's like, oh, um, I should probably be careful about how I yell at people because I'm gonna have to talk to them once more. It's pretty different from how it works in, on, on Twitter.
because you're never going to see that person again. You can pile drive them. And, you know, you know it's kind of great because uh, since everyone is faceless, um, you don't have to feel bad about kicking them while they're down or when they make even the slightest mistake. It's super, super cathartic. You know, people pick on me for the same reason on Twitter, and they don't notice me, so I should get my revenge on that, right? That's, that's how that works. I'm being facetious, obviously. Well, I say obviously, but that's another thing, right? The, the surface level. You, feel free to skip ahead of this, right? When you see me moving again, that's, that's, when, that's when you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this thing drop out of the ceiling. What else did we talk about? The new Baldur's Gate game. I can't play it. I've been drawing a hell of a lot and I've hurt my wrist. So I can't play it with a mouse. And I haven't got a copy yet. I'm finishing up a giant project. This won't this won't mean anything. Like, there you go. This is hey future me. Hey future Gremlin. You 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 doing alright? This was the point in your life when you you did this really big project of character designs. And artwork and you you nearly ruined your wrist up oh, we got a baby we got a baby all right let's hurry oh shit okay I got a plan I got a plan because I've been getting better at magic all right now I can't teleport with the baby in my hands up here right but when Guardi Leviosa and yeah I kind of can Okay, that should be it. Let's zip over. Baby! Hell yeah. Let's get you on a spike. So apparently the timing is random. That's extremely annoying. So you're going to have to fast forward again. That's, that is absurdly annoying. All right, well, here we are. Hi. Welcome to Grimwit's talk hour again. The hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, ruining my wrist. So doing a lot of drawing to the point where I'm ruining my drawing hand and after this is done I'm not going to be drawing for a little bit all right take a couple of days off from my artwork and uh, <clears throat> then I'm going to buy Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm going to mute my phone for two three days uh, I'm not going to stream it not going to stream it not going to do any it's just going to be me time it's going to be me time in Baldur's Gate 3 and everybody's talking about Baldur's Gate Hey, future me. This is the point in your life when Baldur's Gate 3 came out and just, like, really fucked over the entire gaming community. Both the tabletop gaming community, like, Hasbro doesn't know what to do, right? Because before the current uh, executives in charge were in charge, the previous ones realized the, the good idea of giving Larian a license to make a game. This was, like, six years ago, right? And then... Hasbro discovered that, uh, oh my god, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons, these two things are making about, up about half of our gross income. How did, how did we miss this? And then they started fiddling and started fucking things up because they want to control it. But if they hadn't have tried to control it, they just would have continued to make a shit ton of money, but they can't do that, right? They got to have more money because they're used to getting as much as they can as quickly as possible in the shortest amount of time, no matter no matter what the long-term ramifications are. Yeah, this is that point. 2023 is a great year for Dungeons & Dragons because they fucked up so bad, they panicked and they released all of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons into the Creative Commons. Now anybody can just go and get Dungeons & Dragons and a shit ton of clones are coming out and everybody's got their own system. It's fucking hilarious. Meanwhile, Larian is trucking on going, hey, we got a game. And people are like, yeah, 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 it's another, it's another D&D &D game. It's like, yeah, it is. 
we're releasing it. It's amazing. And the devs are like, uh, other devs, like from EA and Bethesda, are like, okay, everybody brace yourselves. This is going to be absurdly good. Don't think this is normal. You should not hold us to a higher standard. Please be okay with the shit we poop out. And ignore this ambrosia. Meanwhile, Arian's like, okay, uh, here's here's your game. Cool. Uh, what, what kind of in-game purchases? Like, oh, shit. Baby, baby. We got a baby. We got a baby. Don't bounce it around too much. Don't bounce it around too much. This poor thing. All right, let's... Uh... Try this again. I don't know about the timing on this. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, shit, shit. This is so bad. All right, go up there. Uh, nope, I need this one. Grab the baby, grab it, grab the baby. Move, move up, move. Put the baby on the spike, put the baby on the spike. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'm fucking cheating this time. I wonder, I wonder if it's because it takes damage. You know what, I hadn't thought of that, because I have them bouncing it against the wall, right? I wonder if it's taking damage. Still learning things about this level. But yeah, we are, I'm, I'm just straight up cheating next time. It's not third time's the charm, it's third time's the cheat. Hmm. So where was I? Larian's like, hey, um, here's a game. It's complete. What kind of in-game purchases are there? None. It's complete. Take it. Okay. Does does it need to be online to play? No. Take it. It's complete. We're done. We want to move on to smaller projects. We're tired of big projects right now. Every all of our exhausted, all of our 400 employees are super exhausted, including the CEO who apparently shows up to work in an armor for some reason because he's the best CEO. Fuck you. Um. <coughs> okay, um, are you gonna sell your company soon? God, no. No, when people people who buy companies want to make money, we don't want to make money. We want to make games. Take take our game. We finished it. Well, we got to worry about DRM, right? No, it's complete. Take the fucking game. It's done. We're tired of talking to you about this. Take the fucking game. It's finished. We spent an extra three months months on QA. Take the game. You have a squid worm in your brain. Go. And now the rest of the companies are like, uh, but, but, you shouldn't get used to a game this good. You, you should be used to, I don't know, Skyrim? And then they're like, okay, okay. okay. Like, even re reviewers and IGN and everybody's like, uh, I can't believe you are this full of shit that... All right, all right, all right. So you know about this part. Now let me tell you about what, <laughs> what's what been going on with Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro. So they're, lear they're earning a, a small salary. And they're making millions just because they get, like, a cut. Because that's part of the licensing deal. Right, Larian sells the game, and they take a portion of that sell. They take a portion of that money, and they give it to Hasbro. And Hasbro's like, oh, we like money. And then they're like, oh, no. Um, so Hasbro right now is trying to come up with a virtual tabletop, a VTT, so that people can play Dungeons and Dragons their way, so that they have to get online onto Hasbro's website, which is known as D&D Beyond, to play Dungeons and Dragons, because that's what Hasbro actually wants right now. That's how they figured they could get a control over this. They'd provide a virtual tabletop, it would be cool, it would be 3D, there would be special effects, awesome. But why, oh, we got a baby. We got a baby. All right. Careful with this one. Careful with this one. We're not going to let it bounce. We are also going to cheat our weaselly little guts out and just fly. Because fuck you. All right. Now I got a baby. Put the baby on the spike. There we go. Goddamn. All right. Now this part of the uh, level, I'm, I'm a little angry. Because you have to cheat. Now, I've tried sacrificing myself to this level. 
<clears throat> this area. Because once you go in, you start taking damage, right? I've tried sacrificing NPCs. Like, I threw countless anime waifus at this, and it just ate them up. I don't... I don't understand. Once again, Elephos figured this out. He, um... He summoned Dog. Specifically, two dogs. Let's go with three. Eh, fuck it, four. And they're not taking damage. He got them to. So I noticed that if you pick them up and sort of fuck with them, see how they're turning like that? That's because they're taking damage. Otherwise, Dog will do what this guy is doing, which is absolutely nothing. Just drop you in. Huh, this guy's not taking damage. I don't like that. Take damage. Let's put you right there. See, everybody else is taking damage. Why not you? I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Um, so, they're all <coughs> they're all taking damage. And they take damage for about two minutes. Now, I tried to count how much damage it takes by just sacrificing myself. It ticks about one point of damage per second, I think, right? 1,002. Okay, maybe two damage per second, right? That's our DPS, which is not fast. Hang on. 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. That's about two damage per second. Um, so, like, one minute of damage would be equivalent to about 100, maybe two, 120 points of damage. Times three is like 600 points of damage. I took 3,000 points of damage sitting in this room waiting for a good 20 minutes and nothing happened. So the player cannot do this alone. You have to summon NPCs. Otherwise, it will not open up the pedestal of this thing. Gotta be frank. I'll be Grimwit. I am not happy with this solution. But it is a pretty good secret to hide. Gotta admit. Putting the baby on the spike? Who was that? That was the Silver Rose, right? I'd, I'd have to check my notes again. And I don't want to do that. It's, it's way over. Wait, well, I'm not doing anything right now. I can do it anyway. Nah, let's wait. So, um, I, 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 so question: Why would you, uh, going back to Larian again? Why would you go and use Watsi, uh, Wizards of the Coast's D and D Beyond for a virtual tabletop? when you've got mods for Baldur's Gate 3. Why not just use that? Baldur's Gate 3 has multiplayer. You can do multiplayer. Then you just need a mod for somebody to play the Game Master. Baldur's Gate could probably do that with enough mods. Does it have an API? I bet it does. I bet it will. Pretty sure that's the map with the heartbeat. Maybe not. Anyway. So now Hasbro's got a problem. On the one hand, they're getting a lot of money. But on the other hand, who's going to use their virtual tabletop that they spent, what was it, two years? Less than that. They got plenty of devs on it, and I'm sure those devs mean a lot. That's the thing, right? Is game design and programming, this all takes time and man hours. And Hasbro just wants to print games. They just want to print, like, what do they got? Life? Sorry? Uno? I can't remember. Which they don't have to fiddle with the rules. They don't have to create anything. They don't have to recreate Monopoly. They can just re, uh, reshuffle the assets around, right? That's what they want to do. Meanwhile, Wizards of the Coast is in the habit of creating things. Creating worlds, creating books, creating cards, creating magic cards. Yeah, that's, that's not efficient. And companies are all about efficiency. Except for Larian. Because my god. My god. Baldur's Gate is too much quality. What is it? 400 people times 6 years of manpower. 
which isn't outside of the realm of possibility for a AAA game. Although I wonder if, I don't think Larian counts as a AAA game, even though the products uh, are up to snuff, like they're up to that level of quality. Although I think AAA doesn't mean quality anymore, it used to. Um, hmm. Yeah, anyway, uh, so that's a problem for Hasbro. So that fuck them out of it. So here's, here's another one. Here's another way that they fucked over. I love this. Wizards of the Coast are rewriting the rules for a kind of 5th edition point five, which happened back in 2000. I was there. For 3rd edition, they revamped the rules. I guess that was like 2003 when they did this. Um, they revamped 3rd edition rules to 3.5. And then they got greedy, and that's how Pathfinder came along. Because the uh, people at Paizo is like, you know, we it's, it's an open license. We can just make our version of Dungeons and Dragons and call it Pathfinder, which is essentially version 3.75, is what we used to call it back then. I think it's still called that. Now, I, I'm not gonna get onto Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a perfectly serviceable game. If you like it, cool. But um, it's not my can of tea. It's not my cup of beans. That said, that's irrelevant. Um, people play like people who don't play Dungeons and Dragons will play Baldur's Gate 3 and then they'll be like wow you know what Dungeons and Dragons is pretty good and I've heard a lot about it and I'm a college student there's a there's a place that pl uh, sells Dungeons and Dragons books and they have players gather there and so forth in my town it's Night Armor Games it's the nerd central kind of and of course you can go to the college student union here at uh, here in Oklahoma yeah, even though it's yeah, even though it's all rednecks, those rednecks want to play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm not joking. And they'll be like, "Cool, let's see what the latest rules are." Wait a second, this isn't Dungeons and Dragons. What the hell did they do to the rules? Because Baldur's Gate Three is based on Fifth Edition, not whatever, <laughs> not three, not five point five, which is what uh, Wizards of the Coast is doing. But hey, good news, you can just grab the rules for 5th edition for fucking free online because Wizards of the Coast panicked and released the rules set into Creative Commons and I'm okay with that so Baldur's Gate 3 has basically disrupted tabletop gaming and console gaming all in the same run how wonderful is that I'm somebody who enjoys watching the world burn but this isn't just a world, uh, this isn't just a trash fire. This is like, this is like firecracker factory fire. Like, and it's it's the gift that keeps on giving. This all started with started with the OGL debacle that happened in January. Which, if you don't know what that is, essentially, it was Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast getting super greedy. And it all falling apart because they got too greedy. Especially with Dungeons and Dragons. It's happening with uh, Magic the Gathering as well. And, uh, oh well, proxy cards are a thing. That'll be fine. Um, <laughs> it just keeps going. Kind of like this fucking... Wow, dog died. Huh. Well, don't stop dancing. Oh, there we go. It just took the baby. All it took was dog. All right. Kind of worried that it killed dog. Well, here we are. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to die, and I don't really like cheat. I know it doesn't look like it. I don't really like cheating, so I'm going to put a portal here. And then we're going to jump in. Turn on your flashlight, boys. Because now we get to the baby hunt. And this is where we'll get to the end of this, right? Okay. 
Uh, this, okay, this was put together by somebody, and I will look up their names because they deserve this for finding all of these fucking babies. All right? So, let me look it up real quick. Uh, where is me? <laughs> Why is it looking for... Hang on a second. This will be worth it because I want to credit the guy. Oh shit, like a ton of people have answered back my, my question. We might, I might be able to show your stuff. Oh, Johnny Hawkeye joined in to, has, has joined in as a new challenger, right? Okay, it is the Silver Rose that did this, that found all this. Thank you, the Silver Rose, because the Shadow Baby Hunt is something serious. Uh, it was Willie and me that figured out to spawn the NPCs. No, that was Alephos. Willie and me figured out the glitch baby on the spike. Let's go on a shadow baby hunt. So first off, we have to jump in. Welcome to the crypt, everyone. The crypt is kind of bizarre and abstract, but this is the bottom of the hole. And now you no longer teleport whenever you jump down this hole. Cool. The biggest mystery right now isn't the writing on the wall. There is writing on the wall, and I have yet to decipher all of that because I got obsessed with the laser face puzzle. I, I haven't figured out the laser face puzzle. There is this sparking button here. We don't know how to fix it, but we suspect baby sacrifices are involved. Speaking of baby sacrifices, so there's this baby over here. And it's just sitting here like it doesn't give a fuck. And it's got, like, there's this QR code. It says, let me out. Which, yeah, I guess if I were stuck in here, I'd want to get out too. But mostly there's the shadow baby. Now we tried different things, right? We've tried punching it. We've tried blowing it up. If I can hit it. Nope. I've tried a rain of bullets. Oh! Huh. Bullets. It's only weakness. All right. Well, so we got some secrets in here. I'll show you the cave. Hey, what's going on? This is the button room. Over here is a hallway that leads to the central room-ish. Uh, you may notice at the crossroad, this is where we came in. Wonderful. Uh, if we take a right as soon as we come in, we enter into another empty room. Uh, there's a lot, uh, you know, it, it, there's a lot of fixing that needs to be done. It is kind of a fixer-upper. Here's that mural we found in the uh, in the mosaic room. Uh, here's the center room where there's a whole bunch of crazy writing. And uh, there's no way out. Welcome. You are here forever. But not me. I brought a portal gun. Okay. Time to go on a baby hunt. We're going to start with the tangle. For the first baby. It's going to be the bottom of the tangle. So we got to go down here here. Boom. And um, you see this pipe down here? It turns out we can... Can I do this without falling into lava? Oh shit, son, I can. So here's the bottom of the tangle. Um, I'm gonna need a gun and I'm gonna need... There we are. I got stuck in a wall, as will happen. So here's the bottom of the tangle on a pipe in a corner of the room. This is the only pipe in the bottom of the tangle. There's a baby right there. Let's shoot it. This will be the second baby we need to shoot. Hi. Huh. Invisible bullets. Does that make them magic? I know magic. All right. So uh, that's that. Now let's uh, climb up. <laughs> I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does. <laughs> All right, when you leave the tangle, uh, there's this little triangle area over here. And if you notice, there's a baby sitting right there, just glitching the fuck out. So we're gonna shoot that one too, right? There we go. Okay, that's your third baby. Congratulations, you're a baby killer. Uh, don't think too much about it. 
I'm trying to think actually where the rest are. Oh yeah, remember that room that the, in the the chess puzzle opened up? Let's go take a closer look at that. Now there was a rib there. We don't think the rib is important, but we might be wrong. There's a little hole. It looks like somebody tried to crawl in or was dragged in to uh, this tiny little hole there. That's where the baby got it. See that? That right there. That is why you. That is why you've got to kill the babies. You must eat them, or they will eat you. It will eat you. So that's what the uh, so the one in the pit, the one in the pipe, the one in the. That's the fourth baby. I'm trying to remember where the others are. Oh yes, I remember. There are two more that we know of. Teleport is a great spell. Um, I want to go down there. Okay, so the next one is in the well. Remember the well? I remember the well. Hey, look, another baby. Hooray! So, let's line up my shot. And there we go. Alright. So that's your fifth baby is at the bottom of the well, right? Um. Oh, yeah! I passed it. Okay, that's not a problem. the best way to go about this. We're going to climb the stairs, but that's going to take a while, right? No, it won't. I have magic. Alright, let's do that. Uh, are we not? Are we not? Ooh. Hi, kitten. My cat is licking my toes because she's a freak. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, well. This is not as fast as I thought it would be. Damn. Okay, so I'm in the upper city now. This is the hardest baby to find. Silver Rose. Don't know how you found this. Because this is kind of amazing that you did. Do you see it? Do you see it? No, you don't see it. The light isn't on. Now do you see it? You can see it. That's right. It's right there. Like, if I clip through the ground... Hang on, let's... If I clip through the ground... That's the only thing I can think of. How did you find this? Anyway, here's uh, the last baby. That's six babies. We've killed six babies. I hope you're proud of yourself. This is, this is super easy, like shooting babies in a barrel. But, but nothing, nothing happened. There we go. It, nothing changes in the lightning room. Right? I've checked downstairs. Nothing happens in the mosaic room, which so far is the only thing that hasn't been used. Right? It's just here. <clears throat> and there's no reason to be here. There's no lights to shoot out. There's nothing to find. I have a uh, spell that actually outlines objects. So you can see objects even through walls. And there's nothing, there's no object. Um, from now on in the womb room, that baby, is it down there right now? It is not. Will occasionally show up, right? But, uh, it will immediately disappear after like a couple of seconds. And I've, I've tried to even get out of the room with that baby and it doesn't, it doesn't happen. So the baby, uh, the, the baby saga is over, I guess. Now here's, here's the thing I don't know. Because uh, I've been told that uh, if you throw babies into lava, you get a laser face at the altar. That one altar that I was at earlier. Let's, uh, let's do some more jumping around. Zip here. Zip here. This altar right here. The bottle altar. I haven't figured out what they did. It was two babies and they got the laser face. I haven't figured out what they did. That said, it just updated. So let's see what's going on there. 
King is glitched for me. Start the level over. Sorry about that. Never mind. Got it to work. All right, cool. Um, okay, so nothing new. That's fine. So, yeah. There's your video for this week. I think I'm done with this map. This time I mean it. I think I'm done with this map. The only time... The only way that I would make another video of this map, which is haunting my dreams, is that, like, if I finally figure out how to get the laser face to happen, I will make a short video on how to do that. Sans conversation. Like, I will even edit it. So, I'm done with this map. I want to move on to other maps. Why must I be obsessed? Actually, now that I think about it, since uh, my project is almost done, I'll be buying uh, Baldur's Gate 3, and then you guys won't see me for another few years. All right, cool. That works, too. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, and also, why are you watching? Goodbye!